Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a few items that I have received. It's going to be an unbagging as well as a share of what these items that I've gotten today go with. With the exception of one item, I don't have anything here that it goes with because I have the bag put away. However, I do want to share that unbagging with you so stay tuned. All right. The first item I'm going to share with you is, well, I guess we'll take care of this one here. This item, I did take my address off. I believe if this is what I'm looking, if this is what I'm thinking this is, this is an item that took quite a while to get. And um, it did come from China, so it took quite a while to get here. I have a few other items that I did order that have not gotten here yet. Let me see if this is what I think it is. That was kind of strange. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right, so this is the item I was thinking it was. If you've watched my other videos, you'll have seen another strap that I had gotten that was the same size as this that um, is the coffee brown color. This I got in the Vaquetta, natural Vaquetta, and I got this to go along with my Daisy Rose crossbody bag because the Daisy Rose is a Louis Vuitton dupe, and I thought this would be really nice to go along with the crossbody bag that I got, as well as a few other bags. And this is leather. This is nice and soft. I love it already. Let me share with you the clips. So it does have the Louis Vuitton style clip there. They are rather small, so it really does go well with smaller bags. And this has the yellow stitching. Yellow stitching, and it is adjustable. And boy, that's really nice. The edging is really nice. So literally, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six spots to adjust this. Six spots to adjust it. There's the buckle. The hardware on here is rather substantial, which is really nice. It's a nice gold tone hardware. And it does have a keeper for the end. And I bought this one from the same seller as I did the coffee brown one. That keeper is really tight on there. I'm not sure if I'll use the keeper. It's really tight on the edge of that strap there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's the other tab here. And I did want to show you um, one of the items I did get. I did share this item with you all on one of my other videos. This is a pochette that I had gotten from eBay. And if anyone's interested in this pochette, I wanted to share this with you because it does have the apricot edging on there. I wanted to see. Now, this one did come with a leather strap or a leather ish type strap. However, the clips on that are different. Let me share with you the strap that it came with. Okay, so this one came with this strap here. I don't know if you can see. It does have the yellow stitching. It has the red, and it's thicker. And then compared with this one, you'll be able to see the difference in color. But this has the teardrop clasp, whereas this one has the little... Louis Vuitton style clasp. So, and this pochette is a Louis, Vuitt Louis Vuitton inspired dupe. Doesn't have any of the LVs on it, but I thought this strap would look nice with that. So I wanted to share that with you. But let's show you. I'm trying to say share and show at the same time. Let's show you what this looks like. Let me try to. All right, so let me show you. Can you see the difference in color? The bottom one is the one that I just got. That's going to patina, whereas the top one is not, I don't believe is real leather. Okay. Now this apricot on here probably, probably won't patina since it is not real leather on there. And I know the Daisy Rose crossbody bag, that one doesn't have any of the leather on the outside. So even if this would patina, which it's going to, I did ask that question to the seller. 
and he did tell me that it would patina over time. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference with that other bag because it doesn't show you much like the Daisy Rose tote would. It doesn't show you any of the leather on there because it's all coated cotton. So let me show you what this looks like. <clears throat> now I will say that on the back of this, it looks like whenever they, whenever they he made it or whatever they made it, there is some staining on the back of this. Now granted, this is this was only $15. I don't know if you can see that. But that's on the back of the strap, and I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, it's only a $15 strap. So let me share with you, and that might go away when it patinas. Can you see how that looks? Let me see if I can. I think that looks rather nice. Except for the staining, obviously. Let me turn that. Because I had that. Let me just see if I can. Let me see if I can turn this where you can see the strap without the underside. There we go. That looks much better. That way I have an option if I wanted to wear it on this one with Louis Vuitton style clips or if I wanted to and I do um, wear it with the other one. I do have a chain coming as well. I have watched several videos and a lot of folks have ordered a chain from K-Craft. I did order two chains from K-Craft, one shorter than the other. Sometime in the future I hope to get, hope to save up enough money to get the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton, the actual mini pochette, as well as the larger um, pochette accessoire. I think that's how you say it. And I I'm planning on using that chain to go on those bags. So that's the strap I wanted to share with you. Let's share with you the other items I did receive. Now I remember to, um, in my one video I had mentioned that I had gotten a purse charm and I was going to share it with you all. However, the purse charm that I did get was not exactly what I was thinking that it would be. So I did, re did return that one and get a different one. And I wanted to show you, I wanted to open that with you and I wanted to see what that looked like. And hopefully it's the color and the size that I would like to have with my black Daisy Rose tote. And I don't know that I'm going to keep this in a plastic bag. Uh, it's getting too difficult. All right, so let me show with you, share. I'm trying to say share and show at the same time. It's not really working out for me. Let me just show you. The other day, I would gotten my little dog, my little dog, for my Daisy Rose black tote, which is very nice. Now I ordered this off of Amazon, and this is supposed to be the size large. And I had originally ordered one to match the my organizer in the black tote. My organizer is the rosy pink. However, having the rosy pink on the outside of this bag really wasn't working for me. It really wasn't what I had envisioned. It was just too bright. And I wanted to do, I wanted to get something that would go along with the actual bag. So I went ahead and got this. And then the size of the other one that I had gotten was too small as well. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, I know it's smushed in the bag. It comes like this. It comes like that. As you all can see, you probably know what it is. It is a pom pom. And let's go ahead and open it and see what this looks like. Now I know this has a gold little hook, but I have an idea. Let me fluff it. Let me fluff it up a little bit. And they say you could take a hair dryer to it. And this is supposed to be um, faux. Sometimes some of the people said this was real rabbit fur. It does feel like it's real rabbit fur. However, in the some of the description boxes, it did say it did say 100% rabbit fur. But then it said 
that was microfiber. So I don't know if it's microfiber or if it's actual rabbit fur, but this is a lot better size for this particular tote than the other one. And I love these clips right here. See these clips? I don't know if you can see that. See that clip right there? It clips open. I know that this is going to clash with that because this is gold and this has silver tone hardware. So let me see. My idea was this. I'm going to take this off and then I can use this little gold clasp. I can use this little gold clasp for a different one. I am going to slip this onto my puppy dog charm. So, and I want it to go behind here. So let me see if I can, so let's see what this looks like without dropping my pom pom here. All right. Because this has the gold metal hardware and I'm hoping that that, what do you think? I think that looks really cute. What do you think, guys? It looks cute so far. Let's see what it looks like on the bag. All right, let's let put it on the front here. And I want the, the little doggy to be on the front. Let's see if I can slip this on. And I'll show you what this looks like. Oh my goodness, wait a second. I need to turn it. There we go. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get these on there. Okay, now I'm going to have to rearrange here. Let me see. I might have to. Let me see if I can re. You know, I'm going to keep this puppy dog charm, so let me take the Daisy Rose tag off. Because that's kind of getting in the way. So let's just see what that looks like. What does that look like? Well, I don't know. I know that this is poofy. I don't know how that looks. I can always get a silver, um, another silver, one of these and use it for that. I don't think it looks bad. What do you guys think? Kind of makes the puppy dog go wonky, huh? Look, see, look, he looks like a lion. He's got like a mane. <laughs> Ah, that's so cute. It's kind of cute. I don't know if I'll wear it like that though, but that's that is cute. I Like this here. Let me take let me just do this I want to see what this looks like without the puppy dog on because I can get these gunmetal They sell these little gunmetal clasps. They sell the gunmetal clasps Let me see what that looks like What do you think of that you guys and then you know what I could do? I have an idea so let me unhook, let me take this plastic off of here because I just came, I just thought of an idea which might work. But there again, like I said, I can get another one of those little clips. They sell them on Amazon, I believe, or eBay. I can't remember where I got, I had gotten some rose gold ones. So I'll have to look that up and see. I can get a gunmetal, like I can order the gunmetal ones. Let me take this plastic off. Wow, the video is kind of getting long. So, wow, it's hard to get this plastic off. All right, come on, plastic. Okay. Goodness. There we go. All right, so I could take this and actually maybe hook this. Do one of two things. I can hook this on here. Or... See, then it hangs down a little bit lower, which I don't know about that. Or what I could do is instead of that, I could leave a little pom-pom there. Then you can either hook, it, hook that there or hook this to the side, which I don't know. I'll have to play around with it, but see, I don't know if I like that. I was hoping to get that. I do like the pom-pom, and I kind of wanted to have that on the front there. I, mean, I know he looks like a line with the pom-pom, but I just I still think that that looks cute hanging next to that. So I'm just going to slip that on there for now and we'll get to we'll get on to the next piece because otherwise this video is going to be really long and I don't know how well you guys are going to want to 
sit there and watch. I do have one more piece that um, it is Louis Vuitton inspired. However, I don't know if Louis Vuitton. There we go. I don't know if Louis Vuitton makes a wallet. I well, kind of give it away a little bit, like I'm going to show you. However, this one I did order from eBay, and I will share the information in the description box of the seller. If anyone's interested in this, there's more than one seller for this particular item, and I did buy an item from this name brand once before, and I was happy with the quality. And I came across this one and I thought it was really nice. And even though I have a lot of items in this color combination, I decided to get this one as well so I would have something to change it up. Oh, it's really nice. It came in a box. I can't guarantee they're all going to come in a box, but it came in a nice box. And it has Rita Messi on the front cover there. This is brand new. This is with tags. I love that it came in a box. It came in a dust bag. A little dust bag. That's nice already. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is the brown check, and it is a wallet. And that's really nice. Let me move the box out of the way so that I can share with you all what this is. Okay, so this is a Rita Messi wallet. And it is in the brown check. It has two snap closures in case you fill it up really quickly. Or really a lot here. Let me just fix my shirt a minute. Okay, it has... I've seen pictures of this, so let me turn it around. It has the ID slot where you can slide out. That little slot right there where you can slide out your ID. It has several credit card slots right there. It has a slip pocket right there for bills if you want to slide money down in there. It has card slots over on this side. Six card slots. It also has another slip pocket there, which is really nice. And it's stamped with Rita Messi right there. I know I have it upside down more card slots on this side that's not a slip pocket that's not a slip pocket but it has a button here and take this out it has a place for coin or if you want to use that for receipts that would be a really nice place for receipts and then it has a zipper right here and the zipper is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. So if you don't like the zippy wallet, there's your pouch there. If you don't like the zippy wallet or the double wallet from Daisy Rose, you can go on eBay. I know that this seller had some left, I believe. And then there was a couple other sellers that had this particular wallet for sale as well. And I paid... Oh, how much did I pay for this? I want to say I paid around $20 for this, maybe. I'll insert that in the description box below to let you know how much I paid for this one. I know that they're selling um, these. There's some on the site that are selling them for like $29.99 or $32.99. I'll let you know how much I paid. But I am, I'm really glad I got this. What drew me to the Rita Messi name brand was I had gotten those little key clay the little I have the black one here but it's not from Rita Messi let me see if I can find it here this little item here I got gotten the, they used to sell these on Amazon in a double pack I got the cream double pack and I had gotten the brown double pack and they were really nice so the name brand Rita Messi they have really nice items that's why I, when I saw this and they had different, like all the different pictures of all the different compartments and things. I was like, wow, that's phenomenal. That's fantastic. I love it. So, it has a one year warranty, full refund, or free replacement for any product defect. That's what this little card says. And it has RFID blocking. So, it can block signal from ID card, credit debit card, passport, driver's license. 
and then but it can't block signals from hotel room cards some building access cards it has different frequencies on there but I also have um, the little cards too that I can put my cards in the little RFID blocking cards I love it tell me what you all think if you're interested in this wallet I will leave even if you're not I'll still leave all the information in the description box down below let me know what you think of my my pom-pom here my little puppy dog that makes him look like a lion and then I will be getting some other items coming I want to say soon but I'm not sure how soon because it might take a while for them to get here the shipping on some of the items are long but for right now this is what I got and as always you have a good evening and if you've already subscribed thank you very much for subscribing if you like my videos go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see other things I upload other little cute finds that I have and as always have a great evening and stay safe bye